Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hey, Todd here for Big Beard Battery, and I want to go over four cabling mistakes that we typically see, say, in solar systems or any time we do a DIY uh, solar system. Now, first and foremost, this is one of my biggest pet peeves, improper size wiring. Now, I'm talking lengthwise. Right now, I want you to think that a battery is like a steering wheel, right? You've got a, a negative side and a positive side. They need to be the same length. You've got electricity going out the wire, coming back in, right? That's how uh, a system works. We want to have the same size wiring. We want the positive and negative to be the same length, right? Just steering wheel. We don't want a lopsided steering wheel to be the same thing with the battery. If I've got less cable going out, say of the positive coming back on the negative, and the negative's longer, battery work a little bit harder. The electricity work a little bit harder, so we want to keep those the same length. Positive cable, negative cable. Now when it comes to multiple batteries, I don't necessarily want the cables to be the same length unless they're going to the same point. I want you to think of it like this, okay? Now batteries have electricity inside, and the electricity from this battery, electricity from this battery, needs to run the same race. If this battery has a shorter distance to take, you know, to go over to the load than this one, then the first battery with a shorter distance will do a majority of the work. Now, a lot of people will say, well, you know, that's just a very minute part. It's not going to happen that often. It's not going to get that in balance. In other words, hey, Todd, it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to tell you it is. After hundreds and hundreds of installs, I can tell you we do see this within just a couple months. If I have a sizable difference between one length of cable on one battery and the length of cable on another, I'm going to have balancing issues, okay? For most of us, feel maybe it's not that important, but if you're investing in a system, you want to make sure, now listen to me, don't say that the wires need to be the same length, but the electricity needs to run the same path. Now, if they're going to a bus bar, we want to include the length of the bus bar, right? Now, if you're doing custom cables, it's not that hard to go ahead and add in the difference on the bus bar. If I've got two different posts on the bus bar and there's an inch difference, then the one further away that's on the second post needs to be one inch shorter on that cable. That's where we make it up, right? I want the electricity to hit from both batteries at the same time. Now, if they're the same exact length hitting a bus bar, then they do this. I want this. So, proper, line, uh, proper length uh, of cables is a priority. Second, proper gauge of wire, right? Now, when we're talking gauge, we're actually talking about the current. When we're talking current, amperage, we're talking about the amount of electricity coming out. Electrons take up space, okay? And if the cable is too high of a gauge, in other words, too small of a cable, too many electrons on that cable, well, they start bumping into each other, they get angry, cable gets really hot, contacts get really hot, heat creates resistance, it's not a good situation. So you wanna make sure that you gauge the cable to the load. Not necessarily the battery, because you can have multiple batteries, but to the load. So if your inverter is going to pull 3,000 watts at 12 volts, you're looking at 250 amps, the cable needs to be able to handle at least 250 amps. Nothing wrong with putting on a cable that can handle 400 amps. That's the second thing, proper gauge of the wire. Third thing, and what we see a lot whenever you're doing a solar system is improper torque, right? You want to get the torque settings correctly, right? So whatever equipment you have, whether it's a big beer battery or uh, purchasing uh, uh, your uh, Vitron solar equipment, all the torque settings are there. You want to make sure that you get everything tight, right? We have electricity running through these contacts. Best contact um, is uh, allows the electricity to go through. Now, I just have kind of a quick and easy way. If it's metal on metal, you know, uh, turn it hand tight till it squeaks. If it's metal on plastic, you really want to look at the torque. Okay, get that pretty tight. You want that nice and tight. Lastly, let's go ahead and talk about um, uh, the proper placement of your washers. Now, a lot of people get uh, kind of confused when it comes to the washers. If I have, say, a battery lug or any type of cable lug, and I have a contact like here we have right here, does the washer go on first and then the battery cable? No. Think of it like this. If there's a bolt, okay, the lock washer, you got two different washers. You have a lock washer and you have a flat washer, okay? The lock washer always touches the head of the bolt. The flat washer protects whatever you're connecting to because the lock washer can dig into it, okay? So again, bolt, 
lock washer, flat washer, then go ahead and connect to your uh, device, whatever it is there may be. So in this case, if I am putting on a battery cable, I put my washers on top uh, of the battery cable, then connect it, not on the bottom. Hey, there's four quick and easy things that you can do to assure that your cabling is done correctly. There's your tech tip. Hey, if you got questions about batteries or want to go ahead and put in a solar system, but need some guidance, head over to BigBeardBattery.com, fill out the solar design form, and one of our certified solar experts will give you a call and get you started. <laughs> That's right. It's too improv. <laughs> Woof. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Is that going to be on there? I can't work into these conditions. They don't give me air conditioning in this building, right? <laughs> it's over me. So there's the four quick and easy. Uh, hey, there's qu <laughs> the cabling is done correctly. There's your tech tip.